Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Basic Course Service Not Learning. In today's video, we are going to talk about Ray C. These words contain four letters R, A, C, I, and each and every letter has its own characteristics. So let's see what is Ray C matrix. So we call it Responsibility Assignment Matrix. It is used to assign roles and responsibilities for each task. For example, there is a task for test case creation. Okay, so for that task, who will take ownership? Who write the test case? Who provide the requirement? Whom to provide the status of the test case creation? So there are lots of responsibilities and there must be some specific roles, right? So the RACI matrix is basically used to assign those roles and responsibilities for the task. There are lots of definitions for RACI matrix. Let's say in other words, RACI describes the participations by various roles in completing any task or the deliverables. So later on, when we are moving forward, this definition will be more clear to you. So as I said earlier, that RACI basically contains four letters, right? So let's see what the first letter R stands for. So here R stands for responsible. So in RACI matrix, we are giving R to those peoples who take actions and do the work or in a crisp we can say assign to do work. So as I have given the example earlier, right, for the test case, right? So tester is creating the test case. So he is responsible. So we are giving R to tester. Then the other letter is A. So here A stands for accountable. So we are giving A to those peoples who make the final decision and has the ultimate ownership. So let's say test lead. So he will be taking up ultimate ownership of test case creation and also making the final decision that what all test cases needs to be created, what all requirement needs to be covered. Okay. Now the another letter is C. Here C stands for consulted. So in RACI matrix, we are giving C to those people who must be consulted before decision or action is taken. For example, if you are writing a test case, what requirements you have covered, in which all requirements you have to write the test case, you need a consultation from a business analyst. So we are giving C to a business analyst over there that he will be consulted while writing the test cases. Okay. Now the another letter from the RACI or we can say the final letter is I. So here I stands for informed. So we are giving I to those people who must be informed that the decision or action has been taken or in other words, people should be keep in loop. For example, when we write any email, we keep lots of people in CC, right? Even though those people are not working on any of the task, but we are informing them that this task is in progress and this will be completed by this, this date or this task has been completed, right? So in that way, we have to give I to those people. So I believe all the four letters R, A, C, I is very clear to you, right? So now let's see how the RACI matrix is basically look alike and how we give R, A, C, I in that RACI matrix. So friends, this is a RACI matrix. So I have prepared for an example. Here we have some roles that is technical architect, development team, test team, admin, product owner or BA project manager or a scrum master. Here we have some project activity or we can say task. Here we have task. Here we have roles. Here we are giving a responsibilities, right? So here we have a project activity that is sprint planning. So here we are saying that scrum master has the ultimate ownership, even though he will be taking a final decision, even though he is also responsible to do a sprint planning. And who will be informed? Product owner will be informed while doing a sprint planning. Admin will be informed. 
test team should be consulted while doing a sprint planning development team should be consulted while doing a sprint planning right because both the team has to give their timelines and availabilities of team member right even though technical architect will also be consulted in the same way we have a different project activity that is story creation so here now this ra moves to product owner means story should be created by business analyst he is responsible for that he will be creating the same and he is also accountable for that particular activity he is taking a ownership of it okay so here we are giving r and a to a single role but we can also give r and a to a specific role also right it depends on that what basically roles and responsibilities we are giving to whom okay in this way we can prepare a raci matrix now i believe you have a better idea of it right depends on the requirement de depends on the you know, roles and responsibilities you can design the raci matrix and you can provide the r a c i flag to a specific role so friends this is all for this video for more videos please do like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you friends have a nice day bye bye take care